Hello, everypony, and Merry Christmas! <laughs> <clears throat> uh, sorry, I think the previous people who rented this cabin had a dog or something. Darn allergies. Anyways, the Friends Forever 8 review is almost done, and I actually mean it this time. I'm just taking a break to enjoy the holiday season, and what better way to do that than with a Christmas classic poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Mind if I join you? Oh, hey man, how you been? Waiting in the background for my Halloween special. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Hey, look, how can I make it up to you? Well, Halloween may be my favorite holiday, but I'd say Christmas is a close second. How about I join you for your narration? Yeah, I don't see why not. Anyways, let's begin. Twas the night before Christmas. Stop! What? Who says twas? That's how it was said in the 1800s. Well, tis stupid. You're stupid. Oh, great comeback. I take you got that from your nine-year-old cousin? Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house. Why is it always a house? What about the apartments? You don't want to leave out the children in the apartments waiting for Santa, now do you? And the apartments. Not a creature was stirring. Except for the assholes in 2B. That was one hell of a Christmas Eve party. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. A mouse? Ah, you're in an apartment, that's a rat! The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Ah, another tradition I never got. Hanging dirty laundry over an open flame to store treats. Aw, oh, my candy cane melted. Oh, well, that again, I don't really want to taste Dad's feet. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Clearly the kids got into the eggnog that was only for adults. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a quick snort of crack. Wait, you didn't tell me Digi's new OC was in this story. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang for the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. And now we all know what we truly want for Christmas. Home security systems. The moon on the breast. Ha, ah, you said breast. Of the new fallen snow. Gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering I should appear. But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick. I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Well, better grab the shotgun. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted, and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen! Oh shit, we toppled the chimney. That'll need fixing. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall! Now dash away, dash away, dash away all! Run away before the police catch us! As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. Hoof? Don't you only say hoof? Well, I wanted it to rhyme. Then just call the roof roof. Yeah, potato potato. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He fell down. Yeah? And later the guy mentions he has rosy cheeks. What's your point? The guy is clearly drunk off his ass. Ugh. He was dressed in all fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Fat, drinking and driving, in a very flamboyant outfit, covered in soot, and you let him into the house because he said he had something for your kids. You are a terrible parent. I don't even have kids! That you know of. This was a mistake. And now you're stuck with me. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. Whoa, keep it G-rated, voice. Oh. Wait, a little too late to the party on that, aren't I? His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. Drinking and smoking. Great role model Santa is for the youngins. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. And by jelly, we mean that jello mold your aunt made you dare not touch sitting in the back of the fridge. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head. He snapped his neck, falling over dead. I'm sorry, do you want to read the story? Nah, you're doing a good job. Keep it up. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. And now you know where that annoying There's Something Stuck Up In The Chimney song comes from. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew. For there was a cop with a pistol. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all! Now you're all gonna die. Merry Christmas everybody, I'm the Voice of Reason. And I'm Horoscore. And we'll see you in 2015.
Tanah 